Hello my soccer universe, with the new La Liga season for 23-24 and the new branding kicking off I decided to do the same as for the Premier League to show you a jersey for each team that I have in my collection that also plays in La Liga this season. So far it is 12 teams uh, that I have, two are in the works and yeah I did such a video two years ago where my La Liga collection was much much smaller. There are still some teams that I will have to double up <laughs> in the, the shirts feature in both videos because I didn't get more shirts. Because this is one of the collections where I have of two teams, you can guess which ones, a whole lot of shirts and from the rest I tend to have only one shirt, but you know, I'm trying to also double up there a little bit. And like with the Premier League video for 23, I will also go this time by the reverse league standing, so we start with the lowest team and then work ourselves up and so the last one will be a Barcelona shirt since I have only 12 uh, teams I decided to also be a Barcelona for this one after all they are the defending champions and it's probably my favorite Barcelona shirt that I have on me right now okay I would say we'll get started and the first team is a promoted side and a jersey that you have seen already <laughs> I even made a dedicated video is this Granada jersey from 1213 however this was never worn this is a prototype jersey it is a very weird prototype and I got this for really 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 cheap um, with original uh, packaging um, I say it here I say it again the way this is cut it actually look you look a little bit like a superhero in that because you know here goes the cape and then the pattern in there I also find it interesting this striped pattern uh, that this happened already um, more than 10 year, year, years ago but even more interesting is that I think those two stripes here are identical which is weird shouldn't be brush strokes all different but yeah small things it's blank on on the back I probably should get a better Granada jersey but for now this one has to do and it will do quite a good job now the next jersey is one of my absolute favorites it's a jersey that I was so happy that I could add to my collection this was at the beginning of this channel it's the first one that I got outside of a Real Madrid and Barcelona shirt from Spain it's this absolutely gorgeous Valencia away jersey from the 15-16 season without sponsor uh, I love when Valencia has these jerseys now this is probably the one that is the least standard of this because it's not the full uh, Valencian flag because as you see here there should be four yellow stripes I do not mind it this way I would love to have one with four uh, not four yellow four yellow four red stripes I would love to have one with four of these as well uh, but what I love about this is the way that you know you have the blue patches up top with the yellow and then uh, the sleeve cuffs are really beautifully done it's all primary colors which makes it even nicer the one thing and I didn't realize this and probably when you look look at it you don't realize it as well so quickly why is the yellow here different from the yellow here there are two shades of yellow on here that makes it that makes no sense whatsoever other than that it's a gorgeous shirt I have to say and it even has a name set with Feguli and a name set that actually I think fits very nicely on the shirt as well I'm not sure if Feguli is the greatest Valencian player of all time he surely is not but that's how I got it from classic football shirts back in the day and it's one of the nicest jerseys that I have in my collection I gotta say uh, this is definitely up there really 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 loved it now if you're a long time watcher of my channel you may know already but in case you didn't let, let me tell you there's one team that I had always a soft spot for that is not one of the big two big three or one of the big teams in Spain but it's a team that I always liked and it took me a while to get a jersey of theirs but I'm happy that I found one in 22 around Christmas that team is Celta Vigo I was really going crazy and uh, I was so odd because there was a time uh, when they were already available on classic football shirts but I just decided not to because I didn't like the color combination I love the color com combination on this one yes I think with the red it will probably be a bit better but I think the light blue and the pink make for a really really good combination and yes it jars a little bit the pink and the red and the red here it still has the classic Citroen sponsor other than that it's 
it's blank on the back with except for Estrella Galicia and this nice symbol here uh, it, it has the patch and to boot this is a player version it's L so it is kind of tight which is probably the one thing that is a little bit annoying but it's a lovely shirt I would love to get a Celta shirt in a slightly bigger size as well so you know that I can actually wear it unless I lose a lot of kilos not gonna happen anytime soon <laughs> that I will be the this one but I love this shirt I really love the colors on, on this one and as I said I always had a soft spot for Celta so there you go staying with the pink theme um, let me show you <laughs> it is probably the loudest jersey of my Liga collection although the Valencia jersey can also go it's this Sevilla third jersey from 07 08 um, in pink and I think I got this last year so 22 when I was looking I was saying yeah I probably will need a second Sevilla jersey because Sevilla is again in Champions League I want to have a second one ideally it would be a red one but I saw this one and I could bargain a little bit I got it together with the Newcastle shirt that I showed you in the other video and yes it's a Homa shirt with a very weird template that is probably the one downside but there are so many nice things about this shirt um, I actually this side I don't mind I just don't know why we have needed it curved here on the other one I love the sparkly crest the response is a little bit beaten up but I actually love the pink and there's a slight shadow strapping in there as well I think they had a red version of this one too and then it has had a name set in there and that's a pretty big player Danny Alves yes from his time at Sevilla so that actually makes it even more special and of course the La Liga patch I'm gonna miss this logo yes it probably needed a little bit rem reworking overall but I'm gonna miss it now uh, it has to be said the Homa here is a teeny bit teeny the teeniest bit beaten up but other than that I got it for a very reasonable price and for a 40 age I'm really really pleased with this one um, one really nice feature of this shirt is that it says here on the side Sevilla I think that's pretty cool Sevilla had an exceptionally bad season last year another team had an exceptionally good season to kind of uh, balance it out and that team is Mallorca and for Mallorca it's also an L it's also kind of uh, tight it's the 1718 home jersey that I also found on Wilhaben from a collector of Spanish island shirts it seems really love I actually when I, when I saw this I really loved this, this one because you know red red and uh, black those are my colors as a Milan fan so I really like that one never quite got the Mallorca crest uh, to be honest but I really really like this shirt what's even nice is that this shirt was when this uh, in the only season that Mallorca was in the third league so it's kind of a little bit special and it has my birth year on the back so the more you know it actually fits all quite nicely really I am really fond of this shirt I have to say Mallorca shirts as of late have not, not not been that great so probably this will stay will be a mainstay in my collection I, I would say let's hope that Mallorca will make it another season up in the top league okay with the exception of Sevilla and Valencia who had really really bad years we had mostly a little bit smaller teams now it's time for the big hitters I would say and we're going to the next team 2021 season now most many shirts are coming out for the 2020 2021 season I have quite a few of these um, Athletic Club the only team outside of the big two that have never been relegated from La Liga this was really a surge I remember this uh, I think I want to say this was in 22 early 22 when I said I really need an Athletic Club jersey and it was a hassle I had in uh, Idris involved I had Andy involved we thought we had one at one point and then we got the I got this one in the UK and Andy sent it over um, it's a more recent New Balance shirt I have to say maybe the color is a little a little bit odd but what actually really well what, what I really like is that the striping is a little bit thinner although I mean the one in the late 90s were really thin stripes but that there's also uh, this patterning in there which is supposedly from the museum from, uh, of Athletic Club where you know all the club members are kind of listed in but I thought it's a really nice pattern it looks also a little bit like a sound wave 
which makes it interesting to look at. It's a blank, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Was, <laughs> this is my athletic club shirt. Now probably get a nice away jersey and we're all set with that one because this is one of the biggest clubs, uh, most historic clubs in Spain for sure. And yeah, I think I like last season's a tad better, but this one is quite, quite nice, I have to say as well. Speaking of Andy and the 2021 season, boy did he deliver in my, in my second ever mystery exchange. The crowning achievement was this wonderful Betty's fourth shirt. Sponsorless, there will be a Betway sponsor on there. Uh, it is the slightly looser fitting version from Kappa, but I have, have to say, what a glorious shirt this is. This was my only, is my, it's still my only Betty's shirt, uh, but it's a great Betty's shirt. Yes, I'm working on getting another Betty's shirt as, as well, because I think I will really would like to have one with green and white stripes. But this is such a, Re nice remake of a classic again with the colors but here it doesn't ball 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 bother me there are two shades of this turquoise here this one is a lighter shade than the one in the k which actually makes the k stand out even a little bit more it is a blank but it's an absolutely brilliant shirt love it love it love it love it love it really great one that one is Back to a slightly smaller team that has become a big hitter as of late and we're talking about, of course, of Villarreal. I think this is the 17, uh, 16 17 home jersey by Homa with the classic Pamesa Keramica sponsor. Uh, has a very interesting crest. It is actually a plastic tra tra transfer but it has, has slight patterning in there which I really like. There's also some patterning that reminds me a bit of the Italy 2012 jersey, like a, a little bit of a chevron pattern. Uh, blank on the back, very yellow, double XL, Homer jerseys always get bigger. I like that here on the tail, it says, has the logo as well, and the want in there, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> this was a, r I mean, ob obviously since I'm coming to the Liga, I had to get Villarreal. But I really was in a bind to get them when they made it all the way to, to the Europa League final. I even won that one that I remember around the semi final stage. I need to go out and I searched. Uh, found it actually for a semi reasonable price, so quite pleased with that. I think it was in 21 exactly when they made it to the Europa League. So there you go, Via Real. That's my Via Real jersey. I actually would like to have one uh, that reverses the colors uh, in navy and then with yellow. <sighs> just it's really hard around here to get via real jersey unless you want to pay crazy postage you can definitely tell that i got serious about collecting la liga shirts in 2021 you know in the corona season when i really started covering because the next one is again one from this season i have a total of four in this video and the fifth one via uh, in Valladolid that yeah unfortunately they are not in la liga this season but here when they qualified for europe i now I need a Real Sociedad and I want to have a really nice one and this is about as beautiful as it gets for Real Sociedad. Bought it from the club store and this is the European version, it's a little bit clean. It was not a season that they were good in Europe in any uh, case and I actually was looking at the league version but I have to say the smaller sponsor makes this a whole lot cleaner. Um, I actually also like that the R and the S below the crest and uh, what, what, what I really enjoy about this one is the um, uh, striping that there is a slightly lighter stripe on the outside which makes it really look cool. Maybe the taping here around the neck looks a teeny bit odd but you don't realize it. It's only up close and maybe when we turn, turn, turn around that make, makes it a bit weird. But other than that, yeah, I was going back and forth whether I should spend the extra money for a name set the end i did not although i have to say for striped churches this back always looks weird like the basque flag on there this is one of the most gorgeous shirts is a double xl of course what i also it also has this smart tag that's quite big kind of weird and a nice saying yeah uh, a really nice looking pleasing shirt of course i would like to have a second one as well preferably in a dark blue tone uh, I actually looked at the uh, current season's one, but let's see. Let's see how it will. I may get a very crazy color as well. <laughs> so let's see about it. Real Sociedad. Okay, we're at the big three. And 
we start of course with a championship winning shirt from the 2021 season who won it Atletico Madrid in this jersey that jersey was a grow on me and I remember I got this on the Nike sale at the end of the season I said well a champions a championship winning jersey I gotta take this one uh, I kept this in good condition um, unlike most Atleti fans I actually never minded that crest the new one the only thing I always said why don't you color the bear and the tree because on the other one yeah not so much I think that would have made for a much better transition and it was would more you know less of a big evolutionary step but overall um, I really like this jersey yes it has this kind of brush stroke effect maybe the red a little bit too dominant over the white but overall a really nice jersey of course it also the blank back let the shirts all has usually a Spanish flag it has the sleeve sponsor in Hyundai and it doesn't have the league sponsor that's a patch probably have to get because usually like Liga teams have that sponsor but yeah XL love the color it's a really nice shirt also the taping on the side it's a lot of things to like about this one and yes I still need a proper Atleti away jersey honestly but gonna happen sooner or later I would argue I've shown you a ton of great shirts so far but I would argue that the next one is probably the best one in this video we're talking Real Madrid and it's my first Real Madrid jersey from the 90 one from 98 to 2000 it's still this was the first one back with Adidas I just love the shiny white uh, maybe nowadays I would probably not like a dark color like this maybe a white one would be better but there's so much to like about it. it's a classic take a sponsor um, of course I got this before we saw Real Madrid play in the Champions League semi-final in 2000 in Munich but that is a story that I'll leave for the dedicated video on this one it is a blank I have worn this a lot unfortunately the sponsor came off so I had to glue that one on it's more or less one of the retired jerseys that I have but it's an absolute classic I my favorite feature is actually you know it's the tree color uh, and that here on the Adidas striping there's a little bit of a yellow outline as well I would argue again of all the shirts that I am showing you here this is the best one and it's probably not the flashiest one but it's it's a jersey that I absolutely love <laughs> And yes, I'm aware of the irony that I've been saying these words while wearing a Barca jersey. However, Barca fans, console yourselves. Your club is the only one that features twice in this video. I've been wearing a Barca jersey all along. And I'm showing you another one. And it's the matching one. It's the away jersey from the 10-11 season. For me, this is one of the few proper Barca colors. I like yellow. I like orange. I like this everything else for me is not proper Barca um, of course this color scheme is worn this season as well of course this is a color scheme that goes back to the 97 uh, Cup Winners Cup final with Ronaldo scoring the winning uh, goal on a penalty uh, I actually do enjoy this one I remember when I got this one I think one of my daughters chose this that I should get it uh, and I always had had in mind it's just my wife never really liked the color but I always liked this jer jersey and having the, the set makes it actually quite nice it is a blank I got it for a very reasonable price I think it, I, I, I won't say it was just 15 plus shipping but everything off it checks out it's not a fake so makes me happy it's a great it's a great jersey and one that you will see this season featured a few times whenever Barca is wearing the like one in its in their games so there you go 12 La Liga teams currently in my collection two are on their way you will see the corresponding unpacking videos in the upcoming days I hope one will come within a week or so your way um, I always say that the Liga collection is probably the most colorful that I have. Um, yes, if you only take home jerseys, there are many striped or many more colored ones, but it is this absolute craziness of colors that I absolutely enjoy and that makes my Spanish shirt collection kind of uh, probably my second favorite 
of the ones that I have. I have to think about that. Of course, I like my Italian shirts the most uh, because I'm a sucker for Serie A. But I have to say this La Liga co collection, color-wise, uh, is second to none uh, in, within my shirts. So absolutely pleased with that one. Please let, let me know if how you like this video with the shirts uh which jerseys do you like in here give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you soon bye i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye